Hey everybody, how you doing today? Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, all right, so it says just citing books, but I'm gonna actually change this. We're gonna change this. We're gonna change it live. Live, baby, live. Oops. Ha ha ha. Hopefully, without messing everything up. Just citing everything. Everything. Okay, just citing everything. So the original plan for this part of the class class was to do one video for each type of citation, each type of source that you're going to need to be able to uh, you put in your reference list. And then looking through the list, I realized that's stupid. There's way too many to do. And at five minutes a shot, you'll be looking through all this stuff, uh, watching a bunch of videos that you don't need to watch. Instead, you're going to do it the same exact way that I'm going to do it. You're going to learn what the basics are with this and then you're going to go to your book or you're going to go to some of the other resources that i show you and uh learn how to do it that way um so we're going to be using apa uh and it's going to be basically apa seventh edition which is brand new this year um or last late late last year early this year i don't know recently so uh I'm going to show you some source resources that you can use to get all of your references right. The main thing that you need to remember is that the references need to be in alphabetical order by whatever's first on that list. And usually it's going to be the author's family name. So first, let's take a look at what are we going to take a look at first? Uh, let's take a look at the book. So let me get my iPad ish stuff up here and see what the book actually says. So we're gonna go here. And if you take a look here, so it, this is page 112. You can't really see it down there in the bottom, but this is page 112. At the very, very top of that up there is um, the last two lines of the, uh, the examples that they have for the example sheet. So you can see that it's in uh, alphabetical order. Yamashita and then uh, Yanagita which I've never heard as a name, but okay, that's cool. Uh, so if you look at the page before, which I don't have a picture of, it'll tell you. But right there in the middle, 14.6, alphabetical order. So read through that and see exactly what that looks like. Um, the reference list is it's, it's on a new page, so enter a new section or a new page break. And then at the top of the next page, it says reference in the center uh, a thing then a extra space line space and then start your list so you only need minimum of seven but that should be fine so let's take a look at uh what one of the examples and stuff that they have set up here on the page or on their next page so this is page 113 the next page in the book and it gives you an example of an apa format for all of the stuff um, and if you look on page, the next page, 114, 115, 116, uh, all, there's a whole bunch of different kind of entries. Basically you need to figure out what your source is and then how to, uh, how to get the right format for that. So, uh, that's what I'm going to show you how to find in this video. So we're going to go take a look at this stuff is useful. And if you want to do it by hand, this is great, but let's go over to my browser and I'm going to show you a couple places where you can go uh, and it will kind of automatically do it for you or will do most of it for you. I can't click on that. I got to click over here, right? So Purdue OWL, APA style, Purdue OWL, Purdue University. This is an, a citation generator, so it will work great uh, for the most part. It's not perfect, but it will give you a good start and it will give you a lot of different options. So you have, uh, you can't see the drop down menu. Oh no. Okay, that's fine. So this spot here where it says website, if you click on the little carrot, that's called a carrot, K uh, C A R A T, um, it drops down website, book, journal, article, online video, or film. So go check that out. We are going to do not a website, we are going to do a book. So see how it changed into book because you can't see the drop down menu on this because JavaScript. Yay. 
All right, so we're going to do a book. Matter of fact, we are going to do this book. Let's show you the front of the book so you can see. We are going to do this book on how to do this. Yay. Yeah. So if we do this book, what we need to do is we could do all of the information and put it all in by hand. But on the back of the book, there's a magic number that tells you that gives everybody the information about what all of everything you need for a citation is locked up in this uh, called ISBN number. So we're going to put the ISBN number in here and use that. Uh, ISBN numbers start with 978 usually. Um, there's a couple others, but for the stuff that you're going to be do, doing, uh, look for, there's a, if you find the thing here, the little barcode, there'll be an ISBN number there. And usually there's also one in what's called the front matter, front matter. And it's like right on the very information, very front information page. It's one of the first pages in the book and it has a list of the ISBN number on there too. So we're going to do uh, four, eight, six, three, one, two, three, zero, eight, three. Now, so that's the ISBN number for this book. It's like a serial number for the book. And then we're going to hit site and then find your books. It's a, it goes through, it looks out and it says da, 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 da. Basically, is this your book? Yes, that's our book. So we hit site. And the book title is Basic Steps to Creating Research Papers. Book publisher is Sengeji Raningu. Rain, okay, yeah, whatever that is. Publication year is 2018. Okay, that's fine. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, it doesn't have the... Oh, no, it doesn't have the authors in it. That's stupid. Oh, man, that's a huge bummer. Okay, first name. All right, so that means we need to add both of the author information to this. Uh, let's see. First name is David. Ooh, Dave. Wow, can't type. David, and I don't care about the middle initial. His last name is Kluge or Kluge or something. And then because this book has two authors, we need to add the second one too. Well, Matthew... Taylor. Okay, so Matthew Taylor. So print publication. Edition. So this is the second second edition. We don't need the second. I actually probably should. Okay, so. Okay. So print publication info, that's the stuff. That's all we need. Okay. Um Basically, if you have any of the other information, you can put it in, but it might not be used. Okay, so we get complete citation. Dun, 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 and that's it. So Klug D and Taylor M, parentheses, 2018, basic steps to writing research. Oh, second. Okay, so we need to go back and edit this. So we go here and edit citation. See, remember when I put in addition? Well, they're going to do it. They're going to do that part for me. So we just need to put second here. And then update citation. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Blah, 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 blah. Citation blah. Machine Plus lets you <sighs> scan for accidental plagiarism. Check your grammar. So while that's running, generate citations uh -oh. in the style Yay. you need. <laughs> Upload your paper now. All right, almost done. Here we go. So uh, now that that's gone, okay. So now this used to be like completely free, but now that they throw them the ads and stuff in it, so this says missing info. Let's review. Uh, I don't see any info. Oh, it went to state, but. Tokyo, you don't use the state for, so never mind. We're going to go back to the citation list. Okay. So this is the citation. This is exactly what we want to put into our paper. So if we go over here, see where it says copy citation, bam. 
and then when we want we can put uh we just go over to our paper and then paste and it puts it right in you just make sure it's in the right order now for an inline citation for this copy inline citation that's basically it's going to do everything for you the preview looks like this kluge and taylor 2018 it's awesome this site basically does everything for you so it works great um some of the stuff will have holes if they try to fill in as much of the missing stuff as you can so that is la 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 okay um that is the general information that you get from the Purdue Owl site. This has been around forever. I've used it a bunch. Now, the other one that I like to use is Citation Machine. And Citation Machine, basically, it's the same thing, right? So are we going to do a website, a book, or a journal? We're going to do a book. And I should have copied the ISBN number. All right, so let's go to the ISBN number again. 978 four eight six three one two three zero eight whoa eight three should be fine let's do a search and see if i put that in correctly ah basic steps to writing research papers gosh this looks a lot like the other one and if you look here it's a Chegg service so somebody bought this and it's the same you can even see the same thing citation machine so Purdue Owl kicks you over to this. So it's the same thing. It's exactly the same thing. So we cite that. We continue. And they want to put the things in. It is it is literally the same page. So that is how you get those set up. Now, let's take a look at this and let's go back on this one. And because I know a lot of you guys are going to be using... Uh, you're going to be using um, websites and articles to do it. So let's look at and see what we have here. Electrek, because some of people are doing solar. Electrek is a good place to find information about EVs and solar and Tesla and stuff like that. So let's look at this article, right? So we have this as the full article, very recent. So we know the information is new. We're going to copy that, that uh, URL. And then we're going to go back to Citation Machine, and we're going to say Website. And then this one, we just paste the name of the website in there, hit Search. And this is exactly the article that I was looking at. Make sure they match, right? Take the time to make sure they match. And then Cite. So article title, the URL is there, the website title, date accessed, and date published. Continue. And it cranks, and it cranks, and it cranks. Is it cranking? I don't see it cranking. There we go. All right, so uh, we got all of that information. Uh, this one we don't need, right? And then we complete citation. So now, this is perfect. So Lambert, so let's look at it. Lambert F. Uh, 2020, October 23rd. That's the date that the article was published. Um, Tesla is making da 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 da. So that's the title of the article. Retrieved October 24th, 2020 from Electric. Da da da. And then the URL is there. So everything's available. Everything's there. And then we can just uh, copy that citation, right? And then put that out and copy that into our paper. And so the first the first one there, right? Uh, for the for the book, the the first author's family name begins with a K. So this one's the second article that we did, the resource or the uh, web, website, the author's family name begins with an L. So it goes KL and then that goes into your reference list in that order because it's alphabetical order by the author's family name so that's it and it's it's a pain and it's a lot of fiddly tiny stuff but it will work um and once you get the hang of it it's still not a it's still not difficult to do but it just it can take a little bit of time so um as you write 
And as you read the, read these articles, you want to make sure that you get all of this stuff all gathered together so that you can find it easily. And uh, that way, when you put it in your reference list and when you're doing the inline citations, you know what the information is, who wrote it, who gave it to, where you found it, so that I can find it if I'm interested, right? All right, and that's it. So uh, get to doing your stuff. Make sure that by this point, you should start to have everything pretty much outlined. Uh, you should have, um, you should be close to having all of your sources all gathered. And then in the next week or so, start writing. So you guys are gonna do great. I am sure of it. Uh, so take care um, and I will talk to you all on Friday or Mondays or whenever I see you. So thank you very much. We'll see ya, bye.